What's up, noobs and nihilism here? Talking to some people after raid, they're not actually quite sure how to find their own stat weights um, using SimCraft uh, for their class and for their current gear and item level. And um, it's an e easy way to eke out an extra 1k up to like, you know, 1k even, even more sometimes DPS. Uh, it's really easy, it doesn't take that much time. And I'm trying to keep this video quick. You also use your stat weights for websites called Asmus Robot, and uh, then you can use Reforge Light, and it's, it's going to reforge gear into an optimal reforge. Um, uh, first step is you need to get SimCraft. Get that by Googling SimCraft. First link, click it. Go to the downloads. Click download. Download it. Unpackage it. Uh, run it. DXC file in it. I already did that. It looks like this. Um, go to options. Once you're in options, on the global section, the only really thing, the only real thing you need to worry about is iterations. You're gonna want to bring that up to uh, 25k. Um, that's it's gonna take a while, but it's important when you're doing stat weights. If it's under 25k, there's gonna be a lot of error. Um, length of the fight, 450 is 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 a good is a good length. Um, you can change it if you want to do a specific fight. Otherwise, just leave it at 450. And number of threads, I switch mine to two, it makes it go a little faster. Next, um, next thing you have to worry about changing is scaling. Defaultly, everything is unchecked. You want to check the stats that matter to you. Obviously, it's rep pally, like strength, expertise, hit, crit, haste, mastery. That's what matters to me. Next, you're going to want to import your character. To import your character, um, you're going to want to search up here for your character name. You want to open up your character. Make sure your gear that you want to sim for is currently equipped. Make sure your talents, your spec, your glyphs are correct. Once you know everything's correct, hit Im import. Once you hit import, it'll bring this up. Uh, this is usually good for most classes, but some classes they have poor SimCraft people that run it, and the default action list is incorrect. You can actually change it. I'm not going to go into details about this, but uh, let's say I wanted to use Judgment before Exorcism and Crusader Strike. I could move Judgment from where it is right here to before Exorcism on the line, and that way during the sim it's going to use Judgment before ex Exorcism in my priority system. Not all classes have a priority system, it's kind of a different rotation, so it's per class basis. It's kind of more advanced, usually the default is good. Once you have everything good here, you want to go ahead and click simulate. Once the simulate is done running, something like this is going to pop up. Um, what this is, is just, this is your SimCraft page for your character. Um, you can see Nihilism is supposed to be pulling 79.7k DPS. Um, here's my DPS error, which is kind of important if you're wondering, uh, DPS range, sorry, it's kind of important if you know, why am I not pulling the numbers? Some of it's on RNG. My RNG is only 3K, like 3K up, 3K down. Um, that's not a lot. Uh, that's actually kind of one of the lower RNGs is Red Pallies uh, at this point in time. And then this right here, this is your your scale, your uh, scale factors for your stat weights that you selected. And um, here's an image, oops, here's an image of it right here. Um, this image and uh, it tells you you know your stat weights for your current gear it changes changes with your gear so once you have your stat weights you can plug them into reforge light reforge lights an add-on just search for reforge light just like you get all your other add-ons once you have it installed load up world of warcraft and I'll uh, you're able to reforge your gear to near perfect reforging for your stat weights. Um, some loaded here. Some fun shit. Alright. Once once you have reforge light, you click on the reforge person, um, this box pops up. This is uh it's all it's kind of overwhelming, but uh it's fine. Once you're here you're gonna wanna go to like I'm I'm set on uh prop alley. So once you're gonna open up for the first time, you're gonna wanna go to presets and you're gonna click your preset. Um, once you're in your preset, you're gonna wanna click on this checkbox, advanced mode. Once you're in advanced advanced mode, you're able to enter in your own stat weights. Now let's hold tab here, figure out my stat. I just basically multiply by 100 or move the decimal two po two points right two points right for my stat weights. So expertise 166, hit is 252. So expertise is 166 hit is 252 252 166 all right crit is 109 haste is 154 so crit is 109 oops haste 
paste is 154. And then you've got my mastery is 106. 106. All right. Next, you're gonna want to look at this. Make sure, like, for rep pallets, once I'm over hit cap, which is melee hit cap, that's correct. Once I'm over hit cap, the weight is zero. My expertise. Once I'm over hit, uh, expertise soft cap, which is from behind, the weight is zero. That's correct. Once you're done, you know, entering all your stat weights, you hit calculate. You can hit calculate again. Um, kind of like you know, make sure you're getting the right one. Basically, what it's doing though is it's multiplying your stat weights, and it's going to find the best possible reforging with your stat weights. If I had changes, which I don't, because I already you know have optimized my own reforging, you can hit show, and then once you hit show, it'll pop up, and then you can hit reforge, and uh, it uh, it'll reforge all your items for you. It tells you the cost right here. It's, it's awesome. It's it's probably the best best add-on ever. Um, so that's that's reforging. It's gonna boom reforge your gear. After you're reforging, make sure you check expertise, hit, make sure your you know your stats are, are what they should be. Um, after you reforge, you're always gonna want to rerun sim, and because they can change. For example, if I was to gain say 700 more haste, which is quite a bit of haste, but if I was, to, it would actually value strength more. So you got, you want to make sure that you're always running. You're always running SimCraft and making sure it's the right for your 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 right you right right gear. Probably whenever you get an upgrade, run it again. Um, another thing stat weights are useful for is figuring out what gear is up upgrades. Now this isn't perfect, and I I don't recommend you know only using this, but it is a very very good start for finding upgrades for your gear. It gives you a nice list. You can see you know what it recommends around where. Uh, where you where you are and uh, it's it's gonna be pretty close. It's gonna take forever to load. That's cool. All right. So once you're here, load your character. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. What's not self-explanatory is it's useless unless you click this button. Edit stat weights. You don't want to fill in your stat weights. Once you fill in your stat, we'll keep this video short. I won't do it. Once you fill in the, your stat weights, hit save, and uh, it'll automatically update your gear list. You can click on each piece see the list like like I said it's not perfect but it's gonna it's gonna show you kind of um, you know what's what's an upgrade and what's not it doesn't do anything about uh, tier bonuses either so you kinda have to think that in yourself like I said it's, it's it's not perfect but it's a real good start it helps it helps you find your off pieces in my opinion mainly like fucking the star crusher gloves are just amazing for red pally so I'm pretty sure I haven't, I haven't quite simmed out everything yet but I'm pretty sure the heroic elgon gloves are going to be our off piece but then we're going to get the, the four piece for the rest of our gear um so that's that um if you edit edit your stat weights uh, make sure you're simming yourself you know you can get that extra 500 dps and it's going to prevent that 0.07% wipes on elgon take the time and we'll kill bosses. Thanks.